Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and today I'd like to talk to you about resin bound drives which are very popular these days. You see them all over the place and they certainly smarten up the front of a house and give you what should be a maintenance free surface. So the first question is what can you put this material onto? The answer is you can put it onto a porous or a non-porous surface. Now if you put it on a non-porous surface, if for example you've already got some concrete down and it looks pretty stable, it might not be a nice cosmetic condition but it looks all right. So you can put the resin bounded material straight down onto that concrete provided you have sufficient fall. We're talking about concrete with a fall or we're talking about porous surfaces such as an open graded asphalt sort of tarmac with very large chunks in it or some kind of compacted base maybe a bit of type 3 maybe MOT on that but it's got to be really well compacted down and it's got to be bound together in some way while still maintaining that porosity because with a porous surface what we're trying to achieve is that the water will drain away very very quickly through the ground into the water courses that way we reduce flooding because when we have all these hard surfaces and they're just running into the rivers and streams that way we start getting a lot of flooding. Porous surfaces, they comply with SUDS, which is an acronym for Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems. Now that may be required by planning permission. If you're altering your driveway, if you've got grass on there at the moment and you want to water it, they may ask you, they may insist upon you having a SUDS compliant surface. Or if you're going to run the surface water off, then you've got to make sure that goes into a soak away rather than the mains drainage. So that is Aside, what else do you need to look out for with a resin bound drive? Is it a DIY job? Well if you're going to use the resin bound material where it's all mixed up then I would say not because you need a special mixer to do it. You've got to clean that mixer out afterwards and you've got a limited working time. The kind of resin bonded drive you can do yourself if you're a little bit handy is what we call a resin cast system where you put the adhesive material down first and then you just go across and you cast the aggregate into the wet resin as you go rather as if you were sowing seeds in a cornfield, that kind of thing. If you've ever seen anybody do that, I never have. So you You've got resin bound, you've got resin cast, but the other thing is is it UV stable? Now a lot of manufacturers will make claims for UV stability but you really need to check these claims out and guarantee that it is UV stable because a lot of it isn't. They say the resin is going to yellow, it starts out clear but it will start to after it's been subjected to UV rays for a while will start to go yellow rather like sometimes paint goes yellow. Now this is fine you could say well if the material that we're putting down the aggregate is kind of yellow it doesn't matter if the resin is all also yellow in fact it may even look better but this ignores the fact that you may have an area that's shaded you may have an area that's under a tree if you park your car in the same position and you leave it there for a vast majority of the time then you will find that that little bit under the car has not gone yellow whereas the rest has now if you can move your car around absolutely no problem but if you can't you're going to finish up with a car shaped patch on your driveway and who wants that? Now when I talk about the UV stability or the resistance to UV, colour stability if you like, there are some MDI resins which are claimed to be UV stable but actually the research has shown that they're really just UV resistant and although they delay the onset of the yellowing they don't stop it altogether. So very very important point to check out and to guarantee your driveway if you need it is going to be UV resistant. And of course it isn't only a cosmetic consideration because that UV degradation makes the material a bit more brittle and it cuts down the life of it. So you really have to think about that as well. If you want a long life out of your resin drive then you really want to avoid those materials which are UV resistant. The next thing you want to know is about the flexibility of the material because 
everything moves we know that even a drive where you put it down you can pack it and everything else but over the time when you've got cars going across it especially then you will find that it will start to crack shrink move around and if you've got a flexible resin in there then that will take up a certain amount of the movement and won't crack so very very important that you check the flexibility of the material as well this is particularly important if you are applying them to asphalt because if we get the kind of temperatures we've had over the last couple of years those driveways are going to be subjected to very very high temperatures indeed and if you've got asphalt underneath that tends to want to move around and and become a little bit liquid in a very hot sun and you will find that it slightly flows so if you've got a resin binder on top of that that needs to be able to go with the flow if you like have you got your binder sorted out but what kind of aggregates do you have well you can get different aggregates which are very nice just natural stones if you like of a certain size a certain grade but you can also get things like crushed glass recycled bottles if you've got a few wine bottles you want to spend your life hammering those up into small pieces you can put that on your drive but what happens to it well they're okay under foot traffic when you start running a car across a glass resin drive if you like you will find that it starts to crush it and it starts to powder up slightly so although you know glass is a lovely material it's not durable enough to drive on and of course the other thing that people are looking at now very popular is quartz they love a little bit of that quartz in there maybe a little bit of sparkle coming out but again quartz is it durable is it uv resistant um i personally think it's a probably not a great choice for a drive unless you're talking about footpaths and you've got fairly light traffic there you know give the postman some carpet slippers now the other point i will just make is what kind of weight can a resin drive take because it's all right a car we would never expect a car to be that heavy but if you have occasions where a lorry will be driving over there if you've got delivery trucks coming in things like that then seven and a half tons which used to be just below the hgv so that's a sort of a lightish van if you like is is about the limit so if you have a resin bonded drive don't let delivery trucks roll over it to deliver your stuff because they will damage it so work out what you need from your driveway or is it just a footpath and choose the right material and then choose the right contractors because there are contractors around who are first class who do this stuff all the time and there are as we know with any driveway business there are fly-by-nights who won't give you their address they're just gone mobile phone number cash payment and they're gone and you're left with the trouble so avoid those kind of people and go for a reputable firm that you can get hold of if things start to go wrong so i'm roger bisbee i hope you found that interesting and useful and we will be doing more on these resin bound drives uh, and also going out on site and seeing one laid i hope you found that interesting and useful and don't forget we've got over 800 videos on skill builder now so grab yourself some popcorn and a comfortable chair and have a little bit of a binge watch. Mm -hmm.